who'd like to work on your upper body strength and improve your push-ups, begin by doing the walk-down push-up. I'm going to show you four options. Option one is just uh, you're going to walk down with your hands in all of these options. So you'll bend down to the mat, keeping your back neutral, and you're going to walk down with your hands. And as you do, you'll lower your butt until it becomes aligned with your back. You know, stay in this plank position. You're not going to do a push-up. Hold it for about two to three seconds, and then walk back up. So you're hinging right here at your hips, and you're just walking forward until your body becomes neutral. Your back is neutral and lined with your butt. Hold that, then walk back up. It's a great way to just add some strength to your upper arm muscles and your shoulders. Again, walk down, hold that plank for a couple of seconds, walk back up. Try to keep your legs straight and not bend your knees. To progress from there, go ahead and add a push-up. So you'll walk, and once you get to your plank position, throw in that push-up, come back up, and walk back up. Again, you're going to walk down. Keep your legs straight, back is neutral, butt comes into line with your back, push up, and then back up. And again, when you're doing your push up, when you, remember when you're in this plank position, this upper plank, you're not, your butt's not sticking up and it's not sagging. You want to make sure your back is neutral and aligned with what? Your butt. So you want to keep it that way when you go down into your push-up and back up. So when you go down into your push-up, you don't want to go like lay on the floor or do like that with your head. So sometimes it's a good idea to loop forward so you're not dipping with your head either. And you can also, when you're down this position, get on your knees and do a knee push-up and then get back in that plank position and walk back up. Let me demonstrate that one one more time. So again, if you're not comfortable doing a full push-up yet, you can walk down. This is to modify that push-up. Knees, push-up, back on your feet, then walk back up. All right, level three, option three. Add a jump in there. I'm going to get rid of the mat. It tends to come up with me. So we go down to that push up, the plank position, push up, and before you come back up out of this position, jump in and out with your feet, and then come back up. So that's helping you use your shoulders a little bit more to hold your upper body while you're doing that jump in and out. So again, down, push up. In, out, make sure you land with your body straight, and then come back up. One more time. Push up. Feet in, keep that butt low, and then walk back out. And finally, you can add a jumping jack in there if you want to keep your heart rate up. Actually, my heart rate's pretty high right now. <laughs> this is a good way to add an interval in, in your cardio interval. So walk down to your push-up. Push-up. Walk back up. And then two jumping jacks. Again, down so you're speeding up a little bit more. Come back up. Two jumping jacks. One more time. Push up, two jumping jacks. So those are your options for your walk down push ups. Pick what is challenging for you, but also doable, and then progress from there.